Hi YouTube, this is V. Um, how's everybody doing? Um, I recently did a uh, update video of all my um, orchids, and I um, sort of did a really quick update of the um, phalaenopsis that I um, planted in the hydro hydroponic beets. And um, it's not doing so well, so um, I said that I would do a repotting um, video um, of the orchid. So this is what I plan to do today. So let me show you what I've got. So this is the orchid that I plan to repot. Um, if you've seen my experimental, I mean my video on my experimental orchids, you probably recognize this one. Um, that's potted in the hydrogen. So this is the guy. And in the background right here, um, this is um, from a while back that I just thought since I'm doing repotting, I'm just going to repot this guy as well because I have it in the really fine um, bark. Um, this is the, the um, dendrobium orchid that I ordered from um, France. Um, I did an unboxing video of this orchid a while back, and some of you were asking for updates of this orchid. So there hasn't been a lot of activity. Um, I'm thinking because I have it potted in the really fine bark, and it's not holding enough moisture. So I, and it's also planted in the the basket pot. So I plan to repot this, and hopefully will increase its moisture content. So, um, but there's nothing wrong with that guy except for the fact that I'm just kind of lazy to uh, water it every single day. So, this is the setup I have. So, um, when I repot, I plan to repot the um, Phalaenopsis into a bark slash smack the moss. Um, uh, media. I do plan to add a few um, hydrogen beets to the mixture because I think it would um, give the medium a little bit more airiness to it. So this is also something new um, that I'm going to do. And so this is yet another experiment because I've never added hydrogen beet to my medium before, to my um, smatna moss um, slash slash bark medium so um, we'll see how it goes so instead of like all 100% hydrogen I'm just gonna add a little bit of this and to the bottom of the um, pot I like to add a few packing peanuts um, just make sure that these packing peanuts are actually styrofoam not the starch type that will dissolve when when it touches water so just you know give it like a test drive under the sink or I mean under running faucet to make sure it doesn't dissolve on you um, so this is what I do it definitely give the pot the medium a lot of airiness which um, my other um, phalaenopsis love and here I have a pot I mean not a pot um, I already prepared um, my medium. I already soaked my coarse bark in some lukewarm water um, for like 15 minutes. And then this is um, smatna moss that I have cut up into really tiny little pieces. It used to be fairly long, so I just cut it up. So so um, it will integrate much better into the bark mix. So I'm just gonna, you know, mix these two together. And I will add some um, hydrogen beet to this. So this is what the mix kind of looks like. See? Okay, um, I don't think I will do the, the like, I don't think I will show the whole potting um, process because I feel that there are plenty of videos out there on how to um, accomplish that. And other, um, other YouTubers have done a really good job on showing you guys how to, on, you know, describing and showing how 
um, the potting process is. So I'm just going to tell you what I use and you kind of get the idea of, you know, stuffing this in the pot and stuff like that. Well, anyways, so let's take this orchid out of its pot together and see what's going on. So as you can see, the leaves are really not looking great. They're really, really droopy. They're very wrinkly. Um, you can see some roots. Um, they don't look like they are rotted. Um, they are very gray in color. I just watered this yesterday. And the beets look like they already kind of dry. So, so I'm just gonna um, massage the pot to kind of wiggle the orchid out. Okay, let's see. So let's put this away and see what's going on here. Just gonna pick off a few. Okay, it doesn't look too good. Um, this is what the roots look like. My dog in the background. Yeah, you know, they don't look too well. The roots are black. Um, they're very squishy when I squeeze them. Um, only the ones on top are looking good. These gray ones, the one on the surface are okay. The ones that are inside, that were planted inside the um, hydrogen beets, those are not okay. So you know what? I am having second thought of adding um, the hydrogen beets to my new potting medium. I'm probably not going to add that. Maybe the orchid's not liking it. Because... As you can see, the ones, so it was potted up to here. So basically this whole top portion, this part, was in the medium. And this, these roots were not. And they looking, they are looking good. I mean, they're fine. They're gray in color. That means they're just dry. But the ones that are potted inside the hydrogen, they are all black and mushy and dead. So I'm... Um, I'm just gonna go with only the the smatten and moss and bark mix. I'm actually gonna throw this away. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me just quickly show you what I do, and then that's about it. Let's see. Um, I'm just gonna dump this on the table. So. Go away. Okay. So this is what I do. Um, I know you're supposed to wash the pot or rinse it. I think that's fine. I never do it. <laughs> um, don't, don't learn from me, though. You're supposed to rinse this pot um, before repotting. But for time being, I'm not going to. So what I do is I just come and dump my... Um, packing peanut in here like that to give it a lot of airiness and then I just put a little bit of bark I mean like mix in, into the pot to get it started oh by the way these already been soaked pre-soaked so they are not dripping wet. I kind of squeezed out some water already so they're not, you know, crazy wet. So that's what I do. That's what I start with. And then I'm actually um, not going to do the whole process. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to use my scissor to cut off, make sure you sterilize them with alcohol to cut off all the dead roots. And then I'm just going to, you know, pot my orchid in the pot and um, I I won't water the new medium for like until it's dry um, and I think I will do a new, another video maybe in two weeks to see how this guy is doing and um, we will monitor this um, orchid together once again yep 
So this is one quick <laughs> video on repotting. Thanks for watching. Bye.